The biotechnology program at NASA's Johnson Space Center is currently involved in areas of biotechnology research that are limited by gravity or that can be enhanced by the use of microgravity. Areas such as cell culture, cell separation, cell fusion, and biopolymerization. Thanks to the U.S. manned space program, scientists are gaining long-term access to the unique research environment of space. But now, scientists at JSC's Biotechnology Laboratory have built several state-of-the-art cell culture systems that simulate some aspects of microgravity right here on Earth. As a cell scientist, you are probably aware of the ways that gravity can plague your research. Gravity limits our ability to culture cells in vitro as they would normally exist in living organisms. Cells grown on flat culture plates are often limited to two-dimensional growth under conditions of limited diffusion of gases, nutrients, and metabolic waste products. In the case of cells that can aggregate under these limitations, the aggregates are small and are often unsuitable for optimum research. Attempts to overcome these gravity-induced limitations have led to a variety of culture systems that include those that stir the medium and those that flow the medium past immobilized cells. Even though there are advantages for high-density growth in such systems, substantial limitations for three-dimensional growth still exist. In this conventional bioreactor, for example, cells are propelled to the upper reaches of the vessel and temporarily defeat the forces of gravity. But the constant pull of gravity eventually triumphs, causing the cells to settle toward the more turbulent regions of the vessel. Regions where turbulence and hydrodynamic shear can sever sensitive cell-to-cell -cell attachments formed in the vessel's less turbulent regions. Collisions with the bioreactor's impeller can also inflict cellular damage. And any temporary victories over gravity-induced limitations must be weighed against cell injury and disruption of cell-to-cell -cell attachments. But in a microgravity-based research environment, this is not the case. In microgravity, sedimentation and density-driven convection are absent. Particles of different densities settle in 1G. But in microgravity, they remain suspended. Because of this, many gravity-induced culture limitations can be overcome in microgravity. The rotating tissue culture vessels designed and built at JSC are able to simulate some aspects of microgravity by rotating the medium, the cells, and the vessel walls about a horizontal axis. The result is a low-fluid shear culture environment that supports cell-to-cell -cell interaction and enhances three-dimensional spatial freedom for the formation of tissue-like cell aggregates. The vessels also promote optimum diffusion of gases and nutrients and optimum waste removal for high-density cell cultures. Another benefit is that cells with different sedimentation rates can co-locate and attach or interact, leading to the formation of three-dimensional aggregates as seen in this co-culture experiment. In NASA's rotating tissue culture vessels, three-dimensional aggregates like these are not uncommon. Enhanced, three-dimensional cell aggregation of this nature is often associated with production of important cellular factors and cellular differentiation. The JSC Biotechnology Program has four unique culture systems in operation. The slow-turning lateral vessel, or STLV, is a batch culture vessel. The rotating wall perfused vessel, or RWPV, is designed for perfusion culture of anchorage-dependent cells. The high-aspect rotating vessel, or HARV, is designed for small-volume culture of anchorage-dependent and suspension cells and the space bioreactor, which is a semi-automated tissue culture system. With its sophisticated process computer, the space bioreactor can maintain real-time control over vital cell culture conditions such as temperature, pH balance, nutrients, waste, and low shear cell suspension. The space bioreactor is a unique research tool designed for use in microgravity. But once back on Earth, its partial simulation of microgravity will protect the fragile three-dimensional cell aggregates formed in the microgravity environment of space. The space bioreactor is compatible with both the space shuttle and the biotechnology facility on Space Station Freedom. All of these vessels are based on the randomization of the gravity vector by rotation about a horizontal axis. 
NASA's rotating tissue culture vessels are indeed revolutionizing Earth-bound research by bringing some of the benefits of microgravity into the laboratory. But these benefits are not limited to the laboratory. When employed in the actual microgravity of space, these culture systems are unique research tools that provide low shear stress, co-location of different sized particles, enhanced three-dimensional tissue formation, and enhanced cellular differentiation. With the ability to grow and maintain viable tissue-like aggregates, cell scientists have a unique opportunity to investigate fundamental processes in normal and neoplastic cell growth and communication. Long-term cell culture in microgravity may hold the key to advancing our basic understanding of biological processes and may also open the door for medical and industrial applications.